What's that? <laughs> it is now. <laughs> is the camera rolling? It's rolling. For the gun show? Boop, 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 boop. Uh, it's Friday Night Flies. Welcome back to another episode. I'm Boulder. Uh, we're here in Spud Valley Sporting Goods in Pemberton, headquarters of uh, Pemberton Fish Finder. I'm drawing blanks there, but not on the ice all day. Um, yeah, Pemberton Fish Finder. We talked trout. And uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you like that? You see how I did that? We talked to it. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're doing some flies. Scotty Holmes was just up, tied us a great uh, nymph that he's been working on. I think we'll see a little bit of an evolution happening with that one pattern as he perfects it. Yeah. And uh, so he's on the countdown because spring's coming in like months and months and months, but it's coming. Um, yeah, so I'm tying up a steelhead fly because it is that season. And who doesn't enjoy doing steelhead flies? They're big, they're bright, they're colorful. So uh, I also had been gifted some some product from a fan of ours, Vic from uh, Alaska. So thank you, Vic. Uh, I think it was um, sent to me as a challenge because <laughs> <laughs> uh, he didn't know what to do with this stuff. So I came up with a whole bunch of different flies. And if we go downstairs, I'll show you the first one I got here. What the heck? Let's go downstairs then. Trying to go down. Trying to. Come way down. Remember the, there it is. Yeah, like the, the giant. Friendly, the giant. giant. <laughs> yeah, the, friend, the big friendly giant. Um, so this is our steelhead mohawk um, tied with this. If Vic, if you're watching, question and answers, everybody, is open. So As of now. As of right now. So we're trying to pay attention to it. So type in your questions if you have it as we go. We'll try our best to answer for you. But uh, Vic has sent me all this tubing. As far, it's not quite mylar tubing. It works in the same way. There is a little bit of mylar in there, um, but then there's a We're whole bunch. We're not really sure what it's called. Of plastic. So well, I don't what know. Used for. I don't know the technical term for this. So, so I'm calling it craft tube, because <laughs> I think I've seen it in the craft section at uh, Michaels. I don't know if you have those in other places of the world, but that's our craft store in Canada. Um, and that is a very very sexy so yeah fly. i've come up with a very different fly here considering um, that i didn't uh, do the focus on that and it's actually pretty clear it's right pretty now. clear it there was, you go you put it right in the same spot as the last fly we will thank you for that yeah i'm Scott, pretty good because at doing i was kind of a little off the mark there i was <laughs> so, admiring your tubing so yeah this is the uh the fly that we're going to be working on i kind of stole it the idea of pulling this mohawk through from a couple of pike flies that i have seen so this would be a new technique out in uh, in our territory because we don't have pike western canada baby yeah so those guys that are doing uh, the big western canada scene they'll they'll be kind of familiar they'll probably be able to school me on how to get this through properly but i saw a picture and I did my best to uh, replicate what I saw. You know where it looks good, Scott. So there we go. I'm going to get uh, right onto this. This one is a blue and black. I'm going to be color doing a different color variation um, just to show you guys that uh, you're not limited to just the recipe. Um, do whatever colors um, fancies yourself. Whatever you have. What you have and what the fish in your area are, are doing. freaking pink is awesome. Um, you might want to check our camera positioning because I got a 3x long hook here instead of this standard streamer. You so know what? It's, uh, it's we're still, still somewhat in there. We're still somewhat in there. If I did that, Mike, will we? There we go. Okay, so we're going to go with it. First, we're starting off with uh, some black thread on this size 2 3x long. Um, so, again, why I jumped up the shank length on this is that I wanted to create a little bit more body on there, a little bit more of that yeah, blue saying, color. We're saying hi to Calvin. Hey, Calvin. Welcome to Friday Night Flies. Okay. Sorry, we got you muted right now, so if you're trying to talk, it's going to be hard for us to hear you. So. Yeah, because we get a lot of feedback if we have it open. Way too much feedback. So you Sit gotta, back and enjoy the, the show, brother. you got to type your questions in if you got them. Yeah, we got Q&As open. If you got some questions, hit us up on the side there. All right, so i got my black base on. I'm going to my pink angel hair. This stuff here is a little messed up. It fell off of the... Uh, a nice little holder that it comes with. But uh, we got one question to come across. It's what with a bunch of question marks. We are tying a steelhead fly 
from the heavens, my friend. So if you're wondering what this is, that's what it is. That's what it is. All right, so I got my pink here, and I got a fair amount. And if you get it and it's still fresh from the package, you don't have to do this to it. But mine fell on the floor and got all ratty. So I just need to kind of groom it a little bit here. Manicure. There we go. So Manicure. That's, here. that's the key word right there. Manicure. We are dealing with pink it. fabric here, are we not? Yeah. All right. So I got my bunch that I'm looking for. And I'm going to tie it on to the back here. Nice and tight so it stays put. I'm going to get rid of this tag. That's gone. And then I am going to trim up this. So I want my tail to be about the length of my hook shaft here. And all I do is pull it out and move my scissors across. There we go. So we get a nice sporadic, a little bit of a taper on it. That's the nice thing about that stuff. It trims nicely. Yeah, it just shaves right off. It's pretty good. So next, we're going to work on this tail. So I got my orange marabou, marabou, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to get a nice plume out here. Boom. Oh, and I broke the stem that I need to hold on to. <laughs> We're not having very much luck. Yeah, feather selection tonight, man. <laughs> right, give Positive me a good one. Give me a good one. Give me a good one. Something to do with that orange color. All right, so I got a good one here. There we go. It's just it's that sewn-in stuff. Sometimes it's they passed it through the machine a few times. So I got my orange plume. I'm going to tie it in by the tip. So I'm just trying to separate my feathers here a little bit so I don't trap everything. Find that tip. And uh, you're going to have to be a little gentle with the tip. It will break off quite easily on you. Yes, it will. <laughs> yep. All right. So I got that trapped in. I'm going to tie it right back to the angel hair. Get rid of that sucker. Grab your hackle pliers and we're going to do some wraps and be careful of that hook shank and as you're doing it pull everything back. Um, you don't have to uh, spend extra extra attention trying to get these wraps right on top of each other because what we can do is back wrap afterwards which I will show you what it is. So I'm trying to get them relatively close But mostly, I'm just trying to be careful not to snap this feather off. Well, right now, it looks like a hot mess, but it'll all work out. <laughs> a hot mess. A hot mess. All right, so I got that secured. I'm going to get rid of this tag. Now, before I back rack, I'm just going to take my needle tool here. You get all the stuff that's trapped, right? Yep, and untrap. All these fibers, so now it's looking like less of a hot mess. And that light that we've got shining down on it right now sure is hot. It's almost making it look white. It's so hot. <laughs> all right, so then this is the technical back wrap. You can grab all your fibers, and then we're going to wrap back over the marabou. And I'm just feeling for where I've tied the other stuff in. So, okay. So now we're in, I'm going to secure all this, and then instead of it sticking straight up, it's all going to become part of the tail, and as you see, I trimmed this tail perfectly. <laughs> hoot, hoot. <laughs> You're awesome. Just like that. All right, so I'm going to uh, create quite the base here. I'm going to clean all this up. And I want to make this part here pretty flat because what's going to be happening is that I'm going to be tying on this tubing right here. So I want to have a good even spot for to adhere to or for me to tie it on to so that it's not sliding forward. So I got that nice and even. 
Um, before we get completely to it, we're going to move to the uh, laser dubbing. So laser dubbing is is UV, and uh, I got some white stuff here. So what we're going to be doing is putting a little bit of UV underfill underneath our body so that the UV shines through because it is quite an open knit on this tubing. So whatever I put underneath, you can even change up the colors that way, um, it's, it's going to show through. So I got a nice bead here and I'm going to leave that little spot that we allocated to tie in the tubing. I'm going to leave that blank. I've tried it with the dubbing all the way in and it made it really tough. So that's a UV dubbing? This is a UV dubbing. That's going to look pretty. No questions out there tonight. What a quiet bunch. A million in attendance watching us online. Can't believe we're not getting a few questions. You guys all just watching with your mouths open. What the hell is he doing? Well, they're about to learn something. And I can see people are going to be coming in by the droves looking for that craft tubing once they see this thing. Because I trust you, me, Steelhead, have not seen this fly before. No. This is a first. Not around Brand these. spanky new. Not around these parts. <laughs> The only thing with the 3x long shank is this takes a while. A lot of dubbing. It's a good thing you've got lots of weight dubbing. You know what would have been awesome for that too is that uh, polar or the uh, mountain goat dubbing that I've got. You have mountain goat dubbing as well? <laughs> Buddy, I've got, I've got everything. I mean, people that are listening right now are like, what? We never even heard of that. That's right. You got to go get your own mountain goat to get that stuff. <laughs> All right, we're getting there, folks. We're getting there. And as I'm doing this, oh, what else would really probably speed that up? Laser chenille or that UV chenille stuff. Oh, yeah. Get that body all. Uh Built up quick, yeah. yeah. Whatever. I'm committed to it now. You're committed. Next one. All right. So, a couple more here because I just need to leave. All right. That is fine and dandy right where it is. Yeah, that would work too. So it'd be kind of counterproductive because it'd be all looking for last week. That stuff would be all trapped on the inside, anyways. So I'm just doing a couple half hitches here, as I am going to cut this off. You know what else would work in there? Maybe a couple glow beads. Something different. Yeah, glow beads would work. So I just pick it up a little bit. Definitely. Like it's all going to get trapped inside of the. a velcro strip would probably fuzz that out quick. Yeah, I bet I didn't bring it. And I don't want to fuzz it too much. I, I just want to. That, he says. I just want to get some of the UV fibers out moving, there moving. All right, so here comes the tricky part. We got our tube. I'm gonna clean off the end. I'm gonna cut myself a length of the fly, and now I know. Typically, if you're going to be putting this stuff on, you'd leave your thread back there. You'd fray the end and try and get it and then get the thread through it. This stuff doesn't work that way. I've tried it. Oh, one more thing before we do this all the way. Maybe. The Mohawk. Forgot. I changed my steps up a little bit before. Okay. So we're going to create the Mohawk here. So I got a little bit of pink, which is going to go down first. So I'm just peeling these strands off of that plume which means did you attach the plumes first last time yeah and then put the and double around it or what yeah no mm. well, boy, Parker. don't <laughs> cut your head off yet yeah oh, put the mohawk in oh nice all right 
I'll do this real quick here. Pink in. No, what I did uh, when I originally tried it was I did it the way I was trying. And then what happened was I put this on and then pushed it all back, tied my mohawk, and then when I pulled it forward, all this went the wrong way and I couldn't get right, at right. it. Okay. Instead of a mohawk, it was more like a frohawk. It was a frohawk. And uh, look at that. I got a nice tip left over here. Which I'm going to... Except for it's just the tip, eh? Yeah, I need to get it off. Otherwise, you can't pull it through. One side. And the other. Get it in my thumbs here. Just pull that stem out. If you leave it on the stem, you're not going to be able to pull it through. I've tried. Doesn't work. All right, let's get this one on there. Get rid of these. I need some new scissors. You do put lots of miles on them suckers. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to tie these in nice, if I can get them, nice and tight. Come on. Get up. Because when you start pulling them through, you don't want to get them coming out. Okay. Tube. Tube. I'm going to tie your thread off this. Tie my thread. One, two, good enough for now. All right, so tube goes over everything. And just, I'm going to go back a little bit here. I'm just going to pull those tails out. Is it still going to work? Yes, it is. So I'm going to get it right to the back here. And I'm going to very carefully... As close as I can to that end. I'm holding on to both ends here. I'm going to go around and around. And I'm going to tie this very nice and tight, very secure. And we are going to load up some head cement in there. Whip finish it. Whip finish it properly. No half hitch for this part. I mean, you can probably leave those little tag ends that are kind of folding over the no you could for here. sure yeah i'm not gonna bother with those ones you're you're looking good whip finish whip finish whip finish whip that thing into place which is not easy when it's this long and there she be and when i'm done i'll go in and head cement this all right, so now the finicky part. Let's get in there. And you want to get on a seam so that you're all coming out in the same spot right on top. And what I'm doing as well is I'm squishing this so that it moves forward because I am going to be pulling it forward. Um, come on, buddy. There she is. So I go in on the side. Find a couple of the feathers. This was a lot easier at home. Well, you almost look like you you folded it back over yourself too, right? It looks tough. Yeah, I did a little bit. But once you get it going, then it comes out pretty good. It's just a matter of getting it started. Part one. Starting to see why you call it the, the Mohawk, Scotty. Some reason it's starting to come together. So it's important to keep that same seam line, eh? Yeah. You want to go on the ex in the exact same pattern, yeah. Or your fly is probably going to spin through the water. That's probably what that would do. You wanted to make a spin and fly that twisted the bejesus out of your tippet and leader. That's how you do it. Throw a swivel in there. Yeah, I know, but I mean, I'm just saying. If you want a spinning fly, how about that one? That's how you do it. 
All right, I'm just going to get stuff out of the way a little bit. I'd like to get a little bit more on this head here. I see a bunch of green or orange that I want. You almost need a dubbing tool with a hook on it, eh? Then the whip finisher has a hook too. Yeah, yeah I tried the whip finisher. It was a little too big. Too big. A little tough, yeah. <laughs> too big for it. That's okay. Only got a couple more feathers here that I need to pull. That's, I'm going to say, good enough. All right. So I got my mohawk through. And now we're going to do the same thing at the front here. <laughs> One piece just doesn't want to lay back. It will once I get this tied off. It's because the when it squishes forward, um, it pulls it all forward. So you gotta you gotta push this back and gives it a lot of a lot of airiness in there as I'm playing with it and destroying it. Come on, get back, get back. All right, so now I got it in place. Tricky stuff to use. Like I said, I think it was a challenge that I got sent to me. But I did it. All right, so I'm going to get this nice and tight. So you're, uh, you can adjust move. your body and everything prior? or Almost looks like it needs to be flattened a little bit. Depends on what you're going for. I went for this one's quite a bit uh, of a longer shank, so yeah. it's made the body uh, a little fuller, even fuller. Next, I'm just going to go around and get rid of all this. And this is why I think my other scissors aren't working. Thanks, Vic. You can send me a new pair of scissors now. All right, so we got that on. I'm going to build a head up, cover off all this. A big cone head would be awesome on that, but I think it would be a pain in the butt to work around. Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to get that, uh, that tubing on there if I did. Whip finisher. And then uh, you could leave it black, but I like black. I like the UV head finish. Who cares? Oh, this bobbin's really tight. I'm just gonna hold my hook. Now you're just being fussy. <laughs> Like I know that I like black though too. Well, it goes with your last black, black and orange. Yeah, a lot of orange tonight, eh? Huh? Yeah, black and orange. Okay. Last but not least, my brush has seen better days. I don't usually use it very often. Get some head cement on there. You can UV cure that as well. But uh, this is the important part to get uh, head cement in. Oh, that's UV head cement? No. I said you could use your UV cure oh. on either of those spots, but you've got to put something in there. I got some of it in my feathers. And that's it right there. Very nice. That's pretty cool looking, man. Very different. Yeah, very different, but I bet you it's deadly. Very and, deadly. Uh, yeah, there's uh, there's UV in the body there, UV within the tubing, and this uh, orange marble is UV as well. Pretty cool stuff, man. Yeah, a little different. Breaking it, break out of the box once in a while. 
I'm gonna go up top here. Yeah, take us up there. All right, there you go. Um, so yeah, I'm Boulder. That's my crazy fly for the night. And uh, thanks for joining us on Friday Night Flies. This goes out to Vic. Remember, Vic from Alaska. Vic. Thank you, Vic, for the challenge. Uh, I hope that inspired you. I hope you kept some for yourself as well and didn't send it all to me. But, uh, yeah, happy tying. That's all I got for today.